by myself. Okay, so I'm live. You turn, but you turn this off. I'm live, baby. You turn. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? How you feeling, man? Um, uh, you know, I don't like to address these things because I feel like I shouldn't have to defend myself because I I make myself clear on my social media. But I realize if people continue to repeat lies over and over, it becomes the truth. So at this point, I have to clarify some of the rumors out there about me. Um, and so I felt the liberty. I felt that liberty to, you know, basically um, come to you guys and, you know, basically open up to you, which, you know, I've got to, but I will because I don't want people confused and got me fucking twisted like a mango mist. Um, there's been a couple things said about me. Y'all can type it in the room. Anything that y'all really want to know about my personal life. Um, I, I wasn't arrested. I'm not locked up. Um, a lot. It's a lot of lies and allegations going on right now. Uh, let's see. Um, there's, there's the notion that I'm a pedophile, I'm holding people ransom against their will, uh, I mean, I, heard, I hear a lot of stuff, you know what I mean, a lot of stuff being sent to me, um, where people trying to take me down, they're, they're taking someone down, but it's just not me, it's who they depict me to be, they're going to go take this person down, and so, with that being stated, it's like, okay, Good luck with that. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm not a fugitive. I'm not running away from no charges. And in, in Babylon, I, I when I was in Babylon, I was well off. I was well off in Babylon. I didn't have to run away from no charges because I paid off all my fines and all my charges before I left. I made sure that I uh, I paid off the things I was supposed to pay off. Um, fucking your girl, uh, she feed the kid. Okay, so that was a long time ago, right? And I was talking about, you know, humans being in a natural state, and I overdid it. I apologized about that already as far as, um, when I said that, you know, breastfeeding, son touching my penis, I already, if you just do a little research, y'all coming in, I haven't been able to live that out. That was about three years ago that was stated. That keeps coming up and being used against me. And but I already explained that over and over and over and over and over. And if you want the video where I broke it down and I apologize, on top of that, I basically um, broke all of it down. Just hit my inbox. Hit my inbox. I will give you the link to the video. Where I've done numerous interviews, numerous videos, clearing it up, but people still bring that up, and I get it. It was it was a mistake. Like that was weird. If you hear that video, you think, yeah, you're gonna be thinking I'm a pedophile, but I get it. Like I'm not gonna blame you for thinking a lot of the shit that you think, but I allow a lot to go on. Like I allow a lot of. I'll, I'll let people talk about me crazy. I don't really defend myself that much. Because I don't feel like I need to, and I know that this comes along with my journey, so I kind of like let it go. But at this point, like, you know, I've been hearing very disturbing things, you know, um, and I want you guys to know the truth. And that's just, let's just put it out there, you know what I'm saying? I want you to know the truth so that when you, when it all, you know what I'm saying, is happening, and when everything is happening, you can know. That is more than one side of the story. So I'm hearing the disturbing things about the people that's talking online about me and saying, um, oh yeah, we're going to take him down. Take Nature Boy, shut him down. Like, we're going to go and we're going to call the embassy and then we're going to get him locked up. It's, it's funny that people um, have created through studying me 
First of all, I want you to understand the psychology of this. People study my mind because it's a deep mind. I have a deep mind. I say controversial things, and it gives people life. It gives them the ability to have their own opinion, and people start to... When people see that you are somewhat intelligent or somewhat smart, well, they start to try to find flaws in you because... Yeah, you cannot be that powerful. You cannot be that great. You cannot be that smart. Only I'm that smart, or I knew that. So now, let's find some kind of flaw in this person. And so, what happens is, people become obsessed with finding what's behind the scenes with this person. This person can't be who they're depicting themselves to. Let's get them exposed. Let's see what's going on behind the scenes. With me, I'm an open book, if you don't know that. Like me, I don't hide anything. I expose myself. You want to um, you wanna know um, things about me? You can just ask me. I'm going to tell you straight up. I have no shame. No, I'm not going to hold no punches. That's the thing about me. You can't expose somebody that exposes themselves. You see what I'm saying? So, excuse my hair right now. I'm joking. I've been resting and chilling all day. I gotta sponge this joint up or something. This is joint looking crazy. Looking real afro. But uh, yeah, so I I get it. I get it. I get why someone would uh start hating on me. Certain things were said. You got somebody like young Farrell that's like, I don't like this dude, and start exposing my past. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Be like it. So all these rumors is out there about me uh, being a woman beater, child molester. I'm everything. I'm everything negative. I'm everything negative to the point where people repeat it and repeat it. And then I block people because I got an arrogance about myself. I do not like people sending me negativity or anything. I'm sensitive. You know what I'm saying? I don't like people sending me no negative vibes or anything like that. So I feel... I feel like I got a block if you, if you come and send any kind of negative vibes in my room. Hey, where my sponge at? Oh, excuse me. Where my sponge at? Huh? I'm probably one of the realest people you ever meet in your life, right? And I say that. Hold on real quick. Let me just. I say that to say this, right? Because I've been chilling all day. I'm probably the most realest people you ever meet in your life. Now, the reason why I'm opening up to y'all right now is because shit is getting out of hand. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like y'all should know the truth if y'all gonna be watching and listening from me. You know, I ain't got nothing to hide. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have anything to hide. When people are like, oh, they just want to expose and. I'm going to expose what happened to this dude and what he's doing and all that. Listen. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm saying. It's a long part right here. I'm going to expose what he's doing and I don't like him. And you got every right not to like me, man. Everybody not going to like me. What you don't have the right to do is harass me. Harass me to the point where you're putting out my address, you're telling people... You, you spread false lies about me. And I know that's come along with the, with the journey that I chose to take. Right? I know tapping into the Christ consciousness that you got to relive it and be fleeing from country to country trying to find a safe haven because Satan will be after you. And that is the storyline of the Christ. And I get it. Yet, I want y'all to know the truth. I'm an open book. I always open my media for you to come at, ask me questions, talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all want to know, you can come ask me because I actually do real nigga moments. And that shit got too real. And they use that against me. Because, you know, all the human behavior... And then, um, you know, people see me and they look at me as, you know, high and mighty or uh, self-righteous. 
right? Um, and they say, well, you're supposed to be this, but, but you're doing this. And, you know, uh, and uh, so, like I said, man, I feel like everyone is perfectly who they're supposed to be. But I don't feel like, uh, I definitely don't feel like uh, anyone is flawless. I, I can't be flawless. I come from the hood. I'm from all of my upbringing. I wasn't always awoke. I wasn't always who I was today. And I'm trying to better myself as a person. Um, and I want the world to know that no matter how many times somebody repeat a lie, propaganda, controversy, does not make something true. You know, just because somebody spread propaganda, I got charges in America. Listen, man. Number one, y'all all know that I got. Y'all, y'all all know that I got. Uh, if you've been, if you've been following me or minding my business good enough, you would know I got deported from Costa Rica um, about two years ago. Yeah, let me get that, baby. Appreciate it. Um, and when I got deported from Costa Rica, they deported me back to the United States. Now, if I had any kind of, like, felony charges, the marshals would have came and picked me up, and I would have been in jail. And, uh, instead, I left back out. And y'all watch me. Anybody that watched me, I left right back out, drove out of Mexico into the So, um, I, th- th- those allegations are wrong, too. I'm not running from the law. That's, those are lies. I'm not running from the law. Um, uh, people call the U.S. Embassy and they keep trolling, 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 and like really sending emails and trying to build up a case, showing them that video when I was like, yo, I touched my, I let my son touch my, they, they tried to make it seem like I'm human trafficking. Um, they use Eliana's weaknesses, her videos, when she say, oh, I don't want to be here, or shit, like they use anything, all the, that so-called receipts, they use it to try to build a case up on some shit that's not true, and I want y'all to know that I'm being harassed, and I, I would like y'all to help if you can, because, uh, when I say help, I mean, like, don't just sit there and watch niggas harass somebody innocent that ain't doing nothing but minding this fucking business. I mean, if you if you fucking knew, I just want y'all to know so y'all can be convicted on, on, on being har- harassed and cyberbullying is what it is. Niggas get together and they start to say, like, oh, this guy's a predator. Nigga, I, there's no children here. Uh, your boy, uh, Haru, he went, him and his family, they went on their own. They ain't even with us with no more. You know what I'm saying? Um, what happened with Joy and New? That's their business. They grown. You understand what I'm saying? They got into a fight. They are young. They're in their 20s. And even though they're not without flaw, they're going to go through their shit in a relationship and those invoke feelings. But we don't allow a woman to be here. We don't allow that shit here. That's not what we into at all. Like, that's not what we practicing here beating on no damn woman. We ain't into that. That's not what we into at all. Now, in my past, I have put my hands on a woman. I regret that. I also lied to a woman. I cheated on a woman. But I made myself a better man today by telling women, look, I'm polygamous. I'm not going to lie to you and she don't. But I'm going to open the lines up and y'all can ask me any questions y'all want to ask. Any allegations about anything. Just ask me. You ain't got to be. See, a lot of, a lot of times I stay quiet and I let them say things that are um, not true about me. Because I realize people are going to believe whatever they want to believe. But I, I, I need to tell y'all the truth so that y'all can know what's really going on so that you can make up your own mind. And, and if you want to be evil and want to be negative and want to have that negative vibe, then you can do that. That's, that's on you. You see what I'm saying? But I want to let you know what's really going on. Okay? I'm not a pedophile. I don't like children. You see what I'm saying? Um, I can send you the link about how I explained, you know, my son touched my thing, all that stuff, like what I meant, how I made the mistake, how that came out like a mistake. I had to, I told that shit to Belize because people would spread that shit to Belize. That's the last thing I need when I'm traveling with my daughter. You see what I'm saying? I got, I got wives, I got, I got my little daughter, I got my wife. The last thing I need is um, police coming up on me talking about, am I a pedophile? My nigga, like, I don't need that shit. You know what I'm saying? When you know damn well I ain't no goddamn pedophile. Um, 
human trafficking. Come on, everybody's here wants to be here. I mean, y'all not stupid. Y'all been following me for a minute. Y'all know these people here because they want to be here, right? Human trafficking, like, come on, man. Like, these people came here. You see members. You know how it works here. People come here, they fuck with me, or they leave. They don't want to fuck with me, they leave. Like, and don't, they try to make it into human trafficking. Ain't nobody motherfuckers here on uh, brain, brainwashing. Not everybody here of age, there's no one. Oh, I heard there's underage people here. There's no one here underage. You feel what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, they're saying I'm human trafficking or some shit like that. Like, uh, just the worst thing that they can say ever just to try to make some kind of thing happen to me. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to know what's going on so that y'all can see what's happening to me publicly so that y'all know what's happening to me. There ain't nobody being human fucking trafficked over here, my nigga. You feel me? These people I met online, I'm, I'm a social media dude. People come and fuck with me that fuck with me. Ain't no human trafficking. I'm not beating on no woman here, yo. That's not what I'm into, dog. I don't want to beat on my woman. I don't want my... I, I hit a woman before. You know, when you hit women, you feel bad. You love them. Like, I'm a very passionate man. I'm not into hitting women, man. I don't need to hit women. I'm too smart. You feel me? I'm too, I'm too intelligent of a man. I'm too, I can talk my way through an argument and a situation. I don't need to put my hand on a woman. You feel me what I'm saying? Like, you know... When you're in my presence, I don't need to do it. I don't have to be violent because you're going to respect me. Babe, where the oil at? Where the oil at? It's right Oh, okay. I don't need to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I don't have to put my hands on a woman for, for what? I don't got to do that. You dig what I'm saying? Um, I'm too intelligent. Um, I, I learned from that. You know what I'm saying? When I put, when I put my hands on my Isha, I learned from that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Same mistakes over and over. Right? You know what I'm saying? You, you you can make that mistake all you want. You feel me? I, I know how it feels when you hit a woman and you gotta look at her and, and, and you know you love her and that shit hurt, bro. It don't it don't feel good to me. You know what I'm saying? When you love a woman and you hit her and then later you go you gotta look at what you did to her. That shit ain't cool, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? That don't make me feel good. That don't make me feel like a man. That don't make me feel strong. That don't make me feel. I already, I'm a, I'm an OG. I, I done made a lot of mistakes in my life. I don't wanna. I'm not putting my hands on no female at all. Like I'm not putting because I don't, I don't, I shouldn't have to. Now, you feel what I'm saying? There's allegations of. Uh, what else is there? Y'all, y'all write it out in the room or call in. Nah, man, like, when it come to Eliana, listen, man, Eliana can speak for herself, you feel what I'm saying, like, I don't gotta put hands on Eliana, like, y'all watched it publicly, you see Eliana, she got a little anger, I don't, I don't wanna talk about it, sometimes I don't talk about it because I don't wanna put her on blast, you know what I'm saying, so, I feel like, I just don't wanna talk about that, because at the end of the day, it's like, Y'all know Nana got a little temper. She, she, she go the fuck off. She's still young. Y'all watched her. Y'all know what, what she does. Like, you know what I mean? I've been very patient with her. You know what I mean? I'm a good man. Other than what you think I am, I'm a very patient, very kind, very gentle man. I know you think that I'm a, uh, a, a, a what do they call it? A house, household tyrant. But I'm really not. I'm really a soft dude. I'm really, when it comes to my woman, I try to be firm, but woman is my weak spot, you feel what I'm saying, so when it comes to woman, I'm very patient, I've been very patient with Eliana, I've been very patient with her, and her temper, and her, her wilding out, like, you feel what I'm saying, y'all watched it live, you feel me, like, it is what it is, I took her back, she wilded out on me, I took her back, like, you've seen, like, you feel me, like, publicly, y'all watch me be, you know what I'm saying, very patient with my wife, you feel what I'm saying, because she young, you feel me, I know she make mistakes, and that's on us, but everything that's happening over here is just human behavior, nothing's happening on some old breaking the law, crime type, nah, everything that's happening here is human behavior, you can't make it something that it's not, you feel what I'm saying, and that's why when y'all did the investigation in Mexico, we was let go, because no, nothing was illegal that was being done, you see what I'm saying, and people were trying to hype up the story to get followers or to get to make the story juicy so that they can stay relevant. But I want you to know that what they're doing right now is what's called propaganda. That means you just say stuff and over and over 
like they do the black man, right? The black man is a terrorist, he's a threat, da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? We can we can put we can put on the media, we can put on the media that the black man is um, a violent person. Yet y'all set the y'all put us in these environments. You put guns, you put drugs, and then we we go after it. Then come on, man, that's a scam. That's fuckery. You feel what I'm saying? So and then on the media, you depict us from the poverty that you put us in. And then because we were given resources, we do stupid shit as any animal would. And then you're going to say, you put on the media, look at them. And it created an image in the world's mind about us. You see what I'm saying? So this is the same thing that's being done to y'all. Everything negative that they can find about me is their receipts. They can't say nothing positive about me. I cannot be all negative. Point blank period. Everything negative that they can find about me. That's what he's saying. Now, I'm not saying I'm all positive, because I'm not. I'm a nigga. I come from the hood. I am woke. I'm like a hood ghoul, nigga. I came from nothing. You understand? Like, I was a male stripper. I was a gangster. I was trying to find a loophole. I was trying to find a way to survive in this world, and I made it. I'm proud of me. You feel what I'm saying? So I, 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 I am not without flaw, because... Nigga, I come from where you come from, but not, but not worse. Only difference between me and you is that I found some answers. And I'm trying to share them shits. You see what I'm saying? And I, like I told you, I, I gotta be strong. You understand what I'm saying? I gotta be strong. Because if I don't be strong, niggas will eat me alive. These people are trying to kill me. They're trying to destroy me. I gotta stay strong because I can never let them see me weak. I can never let them see me weak. I can never let them see me fall. I gotta be strong for every black man out there looking at me, watching me. You feel me? So if you see me conceited, it's not that I'm conceited, it's my pride. I can't let them just try to destroy me. I, I gotta I gotta stay involved. But I want y'all to know that the truth about the whole matter. See me, I'm an open book. You know, but I actually pride myself in being persecuted for righteousness. I actually like the fact, I actually rejoice at the fact of being, you know what I mean, a, falsely accused and persecuted because it's been written in text that that must be. So I'm actually kind of happy that that lets me know my journey, that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do when people are persecuting me for shit I didn't do. I did not, I'm not a pedophile, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not a woman beater, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a woman abuser. Women don't want to come to me and be around me because I'm an abuser. They, like, they want to come around me because I'm smart. You understand what I'm saying? Like, women like smart men. And that's why women are... You like, might say, like, I get on women because I'm smart, dude. I'm smart. I have a beautiful mind. And any woman that's listening cannot deny the fact that my mind is beautiful. Like, you fuck with my mind. And women like that. You know what I'm saying? They like intellectuals. They like men that can expand their... One thing women like to do is they like a flower. Women like the flower, you feel what I'm saying? So they mind, they want to, just like, they want to unravel. Women naturally are in tune with nature, so they want to develop and, and, and evolve. You see what I'm saying? So when a man can take their mind further, they like that. So I'm going to attract a lot of women. I, most of my women, well, most of my followers are women. And so you don't think that I'm putting no voodoo or anything on these women. These women, they, 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 I mean, a lot of my followers are women. And it's 328 people in this room. You don't think I can get five women out of the 300 women to fuck with me? I mean, and do what I'm doing with me? To be down with me? You calling them stupid because they decide to do whatever they wanted to do with their life? Mind, you know, I really feel like you should mind your business on that because people have the right to do what the fuck they want to do. No one's being harmed over here. Everybody chilling over here. Y'all good? Yes. Ain't nobody oppressed over here. You see what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I just wanted to tell y'all the truth about the whole, all the allegations out there. I'm not running from the law. I wouldn't be running from the law. I respect the law. I pay, I pay my bills and my due. That's why I'm not locked up. Because at the end of the day, when Mexico ran down on me, right? When Pops, when her pops had came to the joint, Mexico ran down on me. They ain't find nothing on us. They gave us our pass. They took our passports, property, all that shit to investigate us. They gave us all back. It, the investigation was to see if there was if there was human trafficking. 
they came in there to see if there was an oppressed woman. If the woman were oppressed, if there was kids in there that wasn't mine, or they, that's what they were told the embassy, that there was that there was human trafficking. They came in there looking for an oppressed woman. They did not find that. So they let us go. If they felt any kind of thing on me, if the United States was bad charges on me, then the United States would have been, I would have been deported. You understand what I'm saying? I would have been deported. On top of that, um, yeah, so they, they, they just start saying things. I'm starting hearing this shit like fugitive. The fuck? Run away fugitive. Nah, nigga. Y'all niggas is harassing me. And y'all trying to make it seem like... You know what I'm saying? Like, I show my background, and y'all niggas is looking up which Airbnb I'm at and telling people my location. Y'all harass- I got my daughter here, dude. Dude, y'all harassing me. I'm not on up on no charges. There is no- if there's charges, please show me the charges. Ask my haters. Show me, show me the charges. Y'all, y'all saying all this stuff about this man. You're gonna take him down, and we, we gonna, we gonna, we got, we call each embassy, dude. We're at the embassy every day. I'm about to get my daughter her passport. Uh, she just had a baby. We're at the, we're at the embassy every day here. What do you mean you called the embassy? Like we just got a passport for the baby, like. The embassy knows our names. Like, we're in the embassy every day getting the passport for the babies. Bro, like, y'all gotta stop listening to these people. This shit don't make no sense. So I'm gonna open up the lines. Y'all can ask me whatever you want, man, because it's a whole bunch of allegations. And I'm, I'm just, like I told you, I'm always here to be open book. But see, y'all, but see, they love when I'm quiet. They love, they don't like when I do this, when I start making this shit seem like, oh, it's really nothing. Because now they're like, fuck, we had something going. He was quiet. You know what I'm saying? We can make the people believe that we had something. But my nigga, you don't have nothing on me. But hate, self-hate in yourself. Oh, I don't like this man. You don't, you don't have to like me. You got to like you. You understand what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to tell y'all what's really going on and give y'all the opportunity to talk to straight me instead of listening to about me to some third party or some weird people stalking me. Literally, I'm being cyber bullied, dude. I'm being harassed. You see what I'm saying? Like, literally, like, everybody here grown. Everybody here of age. Everybody here doing their thing. Everybody, you're, watch this. Hey, everybody here happy, my nigga. What's up? Everybody here happy, my nigga. Everybody here doing what they want to do. What's up? What's up? No. Come on in, man. Everybody here doing what they want to do. You know we want a happy family. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Check out the things. Okay, y'all want to be here? What's up, baby? Okay, y'all want to be here? You said what? Y'all want to be here? Yeah, absolutely. Are y'all being held hostage? No. Is the human trafficking? No. So we're being harassed, my nigga. I'm just letting you know we're being harassed. Facts. Yeah. Are y'all being held against y'all will? No. Uh, are y'all being held against y'all will? No. No. Definitely. What's your What's your Babylon age? Twenty-five. What's your What's your Babylon? Twenty-one. What's your Babylon? Twenty. Twenty. What's your Babylon age? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. What's your Babylon? Thirty-one. What's your Babylon age? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. So everybody here of age, this is everybody here. What's your Babylon age, sir? About 30. 30? 24. 24? 25. 25? 18. 18? 24. 24? 19. 19? 20. 20. 20. Everybody here of age. Everybody got their passports. Uh, everybody passports stamped. Uh, you feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You know what I mean? Like, it's no, there's nothing going on. But I don't be saying nothing so it make it seem like it could possibly be that. We got the receipts. You see what I'm saying? Like, 
any and everything that they can find, they try to find anything. They, 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 this is what I want you to know. I right, thank you. I appreciate. It. I just want to thank you. trying to make it seem like people are being oppressed over here. When we just we just trying to do our thing. We left Babylon. We left a system out there that we felt that was poisoning our water, poisoning our minds. And we trying to like get closer to the sun and live in harmony with nature, my nigga. That's what we doing over here, bro. Ain't no children here. My nigga with the two kids, he left. He went and did his own thing. You feel what I'm saying? Him, Athena, Haru, Athena, and they kids, they left. Ain't no kids here. It's my daughter. That's it. And, um, and true daughter, that just ain't no kids here, so it ain't no, how can it be pedophilia when there's no children here, like there's no kids here, you feel what I'm saying, there is no kids, so that's that, so if a, if a police officer pull up here, they're gonna come in here and feel the vibe, they're gonna be like, oh, we heard that there was human trafficking, there was women being abused here, and that same thing, this is what they want to do, they want to harass us, they want to send the police anywhere we're at, and just make something happen from where they at, because they got hate in their heart, but I just got to let y'all know the truth, ain't none of that shit going on, ain't none of that shit going on here, I'm not no fugitive, I don't have no charges, you can Google my name, it's Allegio Bishop, you can go see if I got a warrant, ask them to show you the warrant that I'm running from, if I got a warrant for my arrest, for any that should, that's public information. How did they get that? Okay, show show the receipt. Show the receipt that I got a warrant. You can't. You know why? Because I got a lawyer. <laughs> and, my, and, and I just made sure. I called my lawyer and made sure, like, yo, is everything good? Like, you know what I mean? Because a nigga, you know a nigga, I'm like, did I forget some shit? It was I there and forgot that I had a warrant on some shit? She was like, you don't got no warrant, sir. I said, okay, cool. I just wanted to know. I heard I had a warrant. I'm like, I can't come back to the state. She was like, you have no warrant, sir. I'm like, all right, cool. So, if y'all want me to call my lawyer for you right now, I can, I can get her on the phone. It's nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it just is what it is. Like, you just ask them to present information. They're just saying stuff. Right. Oh, you called the borders. You can't call the fucking borders out here in, in where I'm at, bro. This shit is all, this shit, this, no, nigga, it's not infrastructure like that. You can't, and even if you did, they're going to be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Okay. They're going to hit you with the, okay. Because it has no concern to them, like, that's nothing, like, bro, like, we minding our business. I want y'all to know we minding our business, and people are, these people, world news, and anybody with world news, they are literally harassing us. All the, all the allegations you hear is bullshit. It's bullshit. And any kind of, indi or, or any kind of uh, altercation that happened here, let me tell you something, my nigga. We a group of people. Things happen. Like, niggas get in fights. People get in arguments. People, we resolve them and get back to normal, my nigga. Like, don't try to blow up everything that we do. You see what I'm saying? And um, you do got people that come here, like Ether, that came here for the wrong reasons and try to make a cop for himself and try to make the story juicy. You can tell that he's lying. You can tell that he's a snitch. You, you know what I mean? Like, like I said, be careful with people like that, dude. Because if he'll snitch on me, he'll snitch on you. You don't even want to fuck with no snitch. Because a snitch is whatever people do. When people like World, World News and all the people in that group, you got to be careful because of these people. Because whatever they do with you, they will do to you. I mean, that's just universal law. So you see a person's character about what they're doing. You see a person doing that to somebody else. That's all fun and games because that's happening to someone else right now. But stick around long enough, given the right circumstances, they'll do it to you. So you got to be careful when dealing with people that would pick out and try to find everything negative. They want to feed off everything negative that I do. Trying to find flaws in everything I do. The littlest thing, they try to blow it up. And the thing about it is when you hear them, it's all negative. And that's how you know it's a devil because the devil 
can only see what they are. So if, if, if what I'm doing is all negative, and it's like, yo, my nigga, nobody's all negative. You ain't got nothing positive to say about this nigga. You a negative person. All day, every day. Yeah, we on your ass. We're going to take you down. For what, dude? I did. I, I'm not. I have not committed a crime. And that's why Pops left empty handed. He didn't leave with Eliana. No, no, right here. That whole mission was a failure. Right? The whole mission was a fail. What y'all didn't realize is that he came out here on an okie doke. The whole mission was a big failure. Because it was nothing on me. It's nothing on me. They found me clean. They was like, hey, we don't, you didn't bring that out, boss. Let me go. Gave my passport back. Boom, I was free. Now, do you think I'm going to move right back to that same house where niggas got my shit, niggas pulling up on me, niggas bringing heat? On, you know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck would I stay there? You said I ran, but why the fuck would I stay in some place where I'm being harassed? Like, yo, get the fuck out of here. You feel what I'm saying? So... What I'm letting y'all know is that I'm being harassed, my G. No, I did not spend the night in Nicaragua jail. I never spent the night. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I cannot lie. Prophet cannot lie. Listen to what I'm saying to you. I did not spend the night in Nicaragua jail. Point blank, period. You understand me? I never spent the night in Nicaragua jail. Never, never did I do that. Never. They're lying to you. They're juicing up the story, my nigga. And I'm trying to tell you that. I'm telling you the truth. Y'all call in, man. I'm doing a moment of clarity so that y'all can know for y'all. See so what I'm saying? And if you're saying something negative, I'm a block. Chi. I did not go to jail. Peace, God. How you feeling? Good. How you doing, Chi? If y'all be in this room, I'm going to block you. So I'm just letting you know. It's, it's trolling. They're trolling me. I want you to know that all of the allegations are just propaganda and ask for receipts. If there's any charges on me, if there's any warrants, say, show us the paperwork. You show us his location. Anything that you really got, you always, they're just talking. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to build up so they can do what they did in Mexico. You're not going to do that to me this time because I'm going to let the people know the fucking truth. You feel what I'm saying? Um, y'all call in, man. I'm, no, I'm not gonna. I'm, it's not that I'm giving the energy. I, I usually don't, and that's how they ride. They start building and building. Hi. Peace, God. That's how you feeling. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? For all the negative, it should be positive people out there defending me. Like, yo, my nigga, like, how the fuck? It gotta be somebody out there with the gift of gab that could defend me for me because it's like. You know what I mean? These are lies. These are literal lies. If it wasn't a lie, I wouldn't get online and tell you. I wouldn't be online, like, you know what I mean, defending myself. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, yo, I heard this stuff, and I'm like, okay, this stuff can lead to police showing up at the door, um, you know, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. And I want y'all, and a lot of y'all don't know the truth, so y'all listening to this shit, and y'all like, what? Oh, hell no, we got to save these babies. Ain't no babies here. It's just Eliana and Yahomi. Ain't no babies here. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and at and at the end of the day, they try to they try to destroy me at anything they could find, yo. And I wouldn't be surprised if they was being paid. You know what I'm saying? By by some higher source. But I just want to put it out there that none of these allegations is true. Nah, I'm not scared, man. I'm not scared. I can't be scared. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody say, this nigga's scared as fuck. It's not that I'm scared. It's just that I got my daughter here, my G. Have a heart, my nigga. Have some compassion, my nigga. Grown-ass man over there. Like, be a grown man. Like, why would... Why not think, like, yo, I'm being harassed, my nigga. Like, I'm coming to the people. I'm not going to the cops, nigga. I'm not calling the FBI and the fucking... I'm calling the people. I'm letting the people know what's going on. I'm coming to y'all. Letting y'all know what's going on so y'all could do something about it. You feel what I'm saying? So, point blank, period. Any any Anybody got any questions? Of course I miss my son. I miss all my sons. I got three other sons. I got three sons and one daughter. I miss my babies. Of course. What's up, Chief? Peace, goddess. How you feeling? Oh, 
I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I'm ready to answer some questions or any kind of allegations that's out there about me. I, I'm really, I'm sitting here face to face. I'm willing to answer the questions. What is the rumors? What is the hearsay? He said. Okay. He said. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So I'm all for y'all. I support y'all. So let me just say that first. Here you're actually in an isolated environment with supreme beings with your face with yourself. Yo, y'all get off the Wi-Fi, yo. Off the Wi-Fi. Yo, there's person now. They just left over. Yeah, you can even finish that. Yeah, so, so pretty much for everybody that's that's not willing to face themselves, they pretty much will run. You know what I mean? And you can't run from yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. That's what she teaches us. But so, you know, we we it's, it wasn't more about the relationship than it was about her facing herself. You know what I'm saying? But we did get into a little whatever. You know what I'm saying? But that's a whole another story. You understand what I'm saying? But, oh, yeah. Hey, Steve. Peace, how you doing? What's going on? I'm doing good. So, um, there's no disrespect the in the question that I'm going to ask you, but no, I, I, think, no, I want you to get a clear understanding of what's going on. So, if you hear any foul shit, like, bring that shit up and ask me. Like, ask me right okay, yeah, because I follow a few of the other pages that's, you know, going against you, and I'm not going to say the name of the pages, but the first question you already addressed was, Aya, uh, you know, did you beat the baby out of Aya? So, the question that they're still asking is, was Aya ever pregnant? I was never pregnant. No, no, she never been pregnant. She never was pregnant. Okay, and so um, I just got on, but you did address the fact that you did not go to jail because the actual people that y'all rented for them, um, the Airbnb, they said that they actually called the police and you went to jail, but they didn't have enough to actually hold you. So that's the reason why you were released. I never was arrested. Never was arrested. That's a lie. Right here, was we arrested? Nah, never. <laughs> never was arrested. Okay, and then one of your former, uh, I guess someone you used to work with back in, uh, I think it was ATL, they basically said that um, they have evidence that you're running from, I guess, some charges that you have or some tickets, and that's why you decided to go on this journey that you're on. Yeah, I would, I would like them to show those receipts. Because those, all of this is, you see what I'm saying? It's all propaganda. It's nothing solid. You can't prove none of this stuff. And I'm glad y'all talking to me because now you can see that this bullshit, it, it ain't, if you, if somebody got something on me, best believe they're going to show that paperwork. They're going to show that paperwork. So now people are reaching so much that they like, fuck it, we'll just make up anything. People that believe that shit on nature, boy. Because this nigga, done, we done got so much shit on them, they'll believe just about anything. So it's like, if somebody has something to me, trust, believe me, it would be all over the internet. That paperwork, those receipts would be all over the internet. So if you see something or hear something without receipts, you know it ain't solid. It's all okay, there. and so um, so with that kind of piggybacking off of that, you were never involved in a robbery that, you know, they're looking for you for questioning for back no, in the United States. I mean, if I'll, listen to what I'm saying to you. If you've been following me, you would know that I got deported when. What, what are we doing? Um, you were uh, in, uh, I, I forgot where you were. But, yeah, right, right, right. Now, check right. this out. Right. I was going to make right? lies on this uh, man. The whole world seen. I couldn't get on a plane. You seen all that shit, right? I was hold not up, hold up, hold It was up, millions up, of viewers. Y'all seen this. I, I was, Just two years I ago, have, I got shit back I've to the States. I've seen stuff on Nature Boy. Y'all knew I was in the states because I had Who went back to Ohio. I had went to Texas. We're trying to take him Remember? Back. But Remember when I was in the states? People are out here making up if lies you're traveling international, on this man. You know that if you have any kind of warrant when you come I back in the country, they're gonna they're gonna find it. As soon as you go, boom, they're gonna be like, oh, you got a warrant, bro. They're gonna lock your ass up. Okay. You remember that? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, and I say, I'm just travel, addressing all y'all that travel. You know, when you travel international, they run your name for warrants. You cannot get away. They would have locked. Matter of fact, when I got deported, they run your name for criminal record. When okay. you get deported, they run your name for criminal record. If I, if I had a warrant, the, the marshals would have flew me back in handcuffs. You know okay. that anybody that anybody that travels, anybody that's been the boy, they take him down, take him down, back truth, in handcuffs. Not 
lies. Okay, um, the people in the comments feel like uh, um, he didn't completely answer what happened with him and Joy. I think because you accepted my request and then I went directly into asking questions, but they don't feel like it was clarification with why Joy actually left, is what they're saying in the comments. Why she left? Yeah, like what, like what was the, you know, breaking point for her to leave? I mean, I pretty much explained it. I mean, pretty much it was like, there was things within herself that she had to deal with. And so uh -huh. it's rough to think that she could go deal with them leaving, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't run for yourself. You can't run for yourself, you feel me? Wherever you go, there you are, you know what I'm saying? So, and she knows okay. that, you feel me? I mean, you could ask her, I mean, for anybody, just, just hit her up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, she didn't leave because they had a fight. That's no, 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 that's not the reason she no, left, no. if that's what y'all think. That's what no, I'm trying no, to say. No, 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 that's not what it is. All y'all gotta do is ask Joy. Yeah. Like, please go to the sources. Like, these people will go and find out the truth about everything, but if they find a little bit of allegation, instead of them going to do the research, they won't do it because they might find out the truth. But, right, you can ask Joy. You feel what I'm saying? You can okay. Join the phone. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. We're going to get Joy on the phone right now. You can ask her yourself. We'll get Joy on the phone right now. See, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, Joy, I want to clear all the shit. All the right. Nothing bad about you feel what I'm saying? Blah, blah. blah. Right. So why he doing that, Chief? Um, they are saying that you are using your brother's identity. Bro, I can't do that. That's cool. okay. How can I use my brother's identity when I have my own ID? Yo. Okay. I got my own ID. They got my ID. I I can't use my brother's ID to travel internationally. People. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Plus, my brother don't have a passport. All right. Who is? With this facts, not I cannot use lies. my brother's passport at. I can't use my brother. I wouldn't want to use my brother ID to shit that my brother getting into. That nigga in the streets. I ain't even trying to. No, hell no. Okay, and then T, um, what I keep seeing is, um, so what is the the like? You know, you uh, we just seen that. Uh, um, Let's see, Ra and Aya were with other men, and they're not understanding why you keep going back. Like, why, why do y'all keep 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 like that. Like that. Like that. Who said that? Like that. 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 Because people are coming into my personal life, there is a sense of control I must have because what they do fucks me up. After Mama Dia, after the shit that happened with Mama Dia, I realized that when people came here, anything that happened that they did will fall back on me. And I, I become the blame, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So when you come in my life, there is a sense of control, but not I do not like to control women. I I've always been the type that, that want a woman to be where they want to be. See, I like a woman to be with me because she want to be with me. Not because I make, you know what I mean? Like, I right. can't get off like, I can't get off like that. I got so to you want to be with me because you want to be with me. So I like right. to let the woman go where they want to go. And the li women here are very liberated. You don't understand how liberated the women are here. You yeah, because it seems like every woman that comes in, you know, is that you're sleeping with them, so that's their choice that they want well, to actually yeah, I mean, get. If they, they want to have sex with me, they can have sex with me. That's their business. They grown. If they came here and they're like, yo, I'm going to fuck Chief, and they want to fuck me, and I want to fuck them, that's our business. We are adults. We are allowed to do that. We are allowed, allowed to do that. You want your laptop? Okay. Um, I guess we can just wait on Joy. Uh, I don't try to see. Okay. Alright, you coming through, Claire. Yeah, I'm coming through. She know we about to be up? Yeah, I told her we not. Wait, is your what? laptop on? Yeah, tell her. Yo, get the laptop. Get on the laptop so they can see our face, so they can see that's her. Right, so there's no bad, bad blood with Joy leaving. Like she still communicates with y'all, right? Like it's not like she hates y'all and, no, and things like, like they that. They still in a relationship. They having a baby. Like it's, okay, it's wow. So they be on the phone okay. with each other every night playing R and B music. Like yo, wow. these niggas okay. still. That's what I'm saying. Everything that's happening here is normal shit. It's normal shit. It's just a couple had a fight. Niggas trying to blow that shit out of proportion, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And so what we're going to do with y'all right now is prove to y'all that that shit ain't what, it, what they trying to make it to be. 
But okay. because I'm silent and I don't say nothing about my own business, they can make it be whatever it wants to be. So now I'm going to kill that noise. I'm going to show y'all the truth. And then y'all can hold you those lies if you no want. Noise, but I'm going to display and give you a moment of clarity right now. So this way you can see it for yourself. You're going you gonna to talk to Joy right now. you going right. to why? Joy, why did you leave? Well, Chief, I got a personal question. I've been asking everybody else questions. So, uh, on a few of the lives and then the live with, you know, uh, Chief, this, you basically said, when I go, everybody got to go. And I took that as like, damn, is he saying that if he get killed, he killing everybody first? Or like, what do you mean by that? Whoa, what you mean? What? Where? When? Whoa. The live? Well, no, no, no. Listen, listen. Don't get mad. I'm just, I'm, you said questions, you know. So, yeah, yeah, basi saying, basically, you I said that when I got to go, when it's my time to go, everybody got to go. And I heard that out of your mouth. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So, just like, can you clarify that for me so I don't make any assumptions? Ain't no Jim Jones shit over here, bro. Okay. Listen, <laughs> I want you to understand this very clearly. Okay. I'm a man that set out by myself to do this. People said right. they wanted to join me. I let them join me. Right. People are in, in my inbox. You can see them in the room. I want to join. Can I find uh -huh. out? I never recruit anybody. You see what I'm saying? And I, I believe that. I never recruit nobody.